Alright guys, wait no longer. Part 2 of the massive eBay haul is here. And today, we're going to be looking at some Schaefer's. And we got a lot of them. 81 pens, plus some refills, mechanical pencil leads, and whatnot. And if you guys don't know, my name is Big Bad Brad from AB Rustic Relics. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to look at some Schaefer pens. So I know you guys want to know what I paid for these Schaefer pens. I got one lot of them for $48.53, and this lot is all fountain pens. And I got the big lot, which has some boxed pens and a whole mess of them for $66. A total of 81 pens. So... Let's take a look at it. Let me know what your favorites are. I'll let you know what mine are as we go. And hope you enjoy the video. First up, this super cool 1976 Schaefer No Nonsense Bicentennial Ballpoint Pen. Really cool. I've sold a few of these before, but this is the first time I've had one in the case. Uh, I won't be adding this to my collection, so if you like it, let me know. Next, two more No Nonsense Ballpoint Pens. And this one also says spirit of 76 on it let's line these ones up right here next this is super cool i'm not sure what model schaefer it is i have one other one like it but it's really sporty looking i love the blue and white it's got the classic blue pantone's 2020 color of the year and i like that one quite a bit No nonsense. And some of these have some scratching, some wear, and maybe missing some parts. But you all seen what I got it for, and I still think I'm going to do excellent on it. Schaefer a Mechanical Pencil. And I really like that yellow, and I also like this blue. It's Click Clip. And I really like the Click Clips. I'm not as fond of that version as much as I am this version. And let me know if you guys know what these ones are called. And I just picked these up the other day in Westfield. I think they're called glass roses or something, flower, I'm not sure. But they make great pen stands and if you know what these are called, let me know. This is one that may be going into the collection. My wife really liked this orange color. Once again, I don't know the model. I know a few more Schaefer fountain pen models than I do the ballpoints. But for ballpoints, I am kind of lost. I'm just going to go out and pull up three pens right now and show you a few of these. These are... Some of my favorite in this whole line. They're just absolutely stunning. And these are the Schaefer Wright Finds. There you go. Aren't those good looking pencils? And this is one of the lines that we do plan on keeping quite a bit. Because we just like these pencils a lot. They got a good feel in the hand. They look nice in the hand. And there is a lot of variety in the line. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pull these ones out, and we're going to start the that section just for them right there. And in these stands, fountain pens fit much nicer, but for now, it's going to do. And we're going to take these ones and toss them over here. Probably even throw a couple on each one, because we have a lot of pens to go. And here we have another one of the right finds. Put that over there. 
And I really like this one a lot too. It has a nice color and stainless steel cap, white dot. And it's a nice looking ballpoint. And this one is twist activated. Don't know the model. Sorry, I can't be more informative. But it would give us a good chance to talk and the pen community come together to help me solve what these are. Another click clip. I'll move that closer, move that closer so you can hear it better. Another no nonsense ballpoint pen. Here is a beautiful blue no nonsense. I really like that one a lot actually. Really crispy. And here is another right fine and this one is just pretty. My wife seen this one actually is what made her fall in love with this line and I liked these ones, so we're like, well, I think we're going to start collecting these. Here's another one that we like a lot. I'm not sure of the model. I like the white dot. It kind of reminds us of a classic. Um, there should be another one coming up. Actually, here it is right there. And I really like that one even more. But we're probably going to keep these ones, too. Because they're pretty crispy, but we don't know what they are called. Alrighty. Here we have another right fine. And sorry about the squeaky chair, guys. It's always making noise when I don't want it to. Another one of those sporty ballpoint pens. And this one's even nicer condition than the other one. So I'll be keeping this one and I'm probably going to sell that one. Nice mechanical pencil. This mechanical pencil has got some hoofed, some hefta. And I'm sure you may have noticed that there hasn't been any fountain pens in this section so far. I am going to save all the fountain pens to the end, and then I'm going to line them up. So if you can't stand ballpoint pens or mechanical pencils, I guess you could skip ahead. It might hurt my feelings just a little bit. But stick around if you got patience, because there's some great stuff coming up. And we're going to show you the box stuff and all the fountain pens. But let's keep going. I like this mechanical pencil. It's got some nice heft to it. And that's a, that's a good maybe. That's a good maybe pencil there. Click clip. And some have advertising, some don't. But advertising isn't always necessarily a bad thing. Since those Job's Daughters. And I just wish that one didn't, though, because I like that. It's like a big mass of jotter. I don't know the model. Nice click. I really like their clip design on this one. And maybe if I could find a barrel I, without it, I could switch it. But I'll be keeping this one until I can switch this barrel out, because I really like it. Few more of those bad boys and I do like the stainless steel I'll probably be keeping one or two of these click ones like this and I'm gonna see which one has the best sound and the least amount of damage and I, I want to review it because it looks like a fun pen I haven't wrote with it yet and I'm pretty excited and from what I've seen this line has a lot of variants and colors and styles also I'm going to grab myself a, a sip here. Up next is a nice looking Schaefer mechanical pencil. Twist. And most of these work. There's not many of the pens in these that don't work. 
uh, like I said, it was a really undetailed listing, and I know a little bit of, about enough to take a chance sometimes. I like that blue next to that orange there. Another one of these good looking right finds. And these actually remind me of, I think Parker has a, like a right fine type mechanical pencil. Or something real with a very similar name and they look very close to each other. Another clicky clippy. And that one's real crisp. That one's probably going to pass up the other one. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. That one's lined. I, mean, I might even keep a little series of these. I'm not sure yet. Another mechanical pencil. Badoom. Let me know if you've seen any colors that you really like. Or if any of these have unique color names, I would love to hear them. Another one of these bad boys. This one's missing its top, though. Not its top, top of your racer. Another right find. And nice thing about all these right finds, none of them have any advertising on them. And I really like this ballpoint here because this one has this nice filigree around the uh, barrel here, single ring. I'm not sure quite the design pattern. I'll bring it in here so you can see a little better. But yeah, real beautiful looking pen. So I think I'm going to keep a nice little stainless steel line of these Schaefer's, whatever they're called. I'm sure you guys will let me know soon enough. Alright. No, well, I ain't got much click on that one. A little too long for my liking, too. Here we have a black right fine. I really like that one a lot. And that's going to be going in here. And maybe in the future, I'll show you the right fine collections. I know I have some more already, but I don't have a lot of them. So when I don't have a lot of a pen, I save them up till I get some. Before I collect them, before I sell them, I like to have multiples of them in a nice variety of colors. And then I decide if I want to collect that line. Or if I see the pen or pencil and I just fall in love, I know right then. That's going to go with the stainless steel up here. Here's a right fine with some advertising, but it's a salesman sample. See how it's a sample, and they'd have this in a book to show to different companies, saying, showing how their logos would look on the pens and pencils. So I'll be keeping that one too. A beautiful blue ballpoint. And I think that one, oh, this one is chalked. So that is cool right there, right there. You can see it's chalked. And it says, it's a Schaefer 104 medium. All right, is that 104? Schaefer 101 medium. So I think we may have identified this ballpoint style right here, which looks like to be the Schaefer 101. I'd say those look to be the same. The Schaefer 101 ballpoint. It's always nice when you can find some markings on the pen that let you know what they are. And this is, looks like a click clip, but no, maybe it's not. I'm not sure what that. It seems like it would be, but it might not be clicking. Mechanical pencil. Another right fine. I like that blue. I'm hoping this one will clean up. I'm thinking it's going to have some scratches for sure, but I might have to have it in the 
collection anyways to make the line look better. That is one crispy mechanical pencil. Beautiful. Here we have a, a click clip in gold. And if you've been watching so far and been paying attention, let me know how many pens we're up to right now. And this virtual high five goes to you. <laughs> Some more click clips with advertising. Let's do a click click. Double clippy clip. We have some right finds with big old erasers on them. Which I'll be taking off. I'm not going to do it right now. Because sometimes these could get stuck on pretty good. And that one's missing its eraser. So I just popped on one of these bad boys. But... I'm fine with that. I don't know. A right catastrophe. A good thing. And that we're drawing near to the end of the right finds. And it's a good thing because this stand is looking kind of full. And here we have a cool ballpoint twist activated. But what makes this one extra cool, other than the beautiful finish, is this Union Pacific, this Union Pacific clip emblem. Um, there's a lot of railroad collectors out there, and there are a lot of Schaefer collectors, so this targets two different demographics. Two more Schaefer mechanical pencils. Wah-bam and wah-bam. This one almost looks like it's the pencil version of this, but I'm not sure. We have another click clip. And we're drawing near to the end of the Schaefer ballpoints and mechanical pencils. I'm going to show you what's in these boxes, and then we will see the fountain pens. Dun, 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 dun. See, these ones are cool because they say, here, use my Schaefer. And this one says, here, use my Schaefer. And it's 1913 to 1963, 50th, 50, uh, 50th years. So it's probably a commemorative thing they handed out at some kind of a ceremony. That one's got a little heft to it. I like that. And these two are the last ballpoints. A button top, retractable ballpoint, and another one. All right, now let's open these boxes up. Before we do that, here are just a couple refills, some mechanical pencil leads, um, a Schaefer texture tip marker refill, and some erasers. So that was in the lot too. Put these right here, and then we'll get this party going. And let me know what you guys did this weekend. It was cold here, so I didn't do a whole lot. Just kind of chilled. Let me know what you guys did this weekend. We braved the cold and headed up north to Grand Marsh and hung out with some family. And other than that, we ran a little bit of errands, but nothing too exciting. Down in this part of the woods, it's always nice to go up north, however. Right, here, we're going to do the boxes. We have a little cartridge of ink. Here we have, ooh, that's nice. That big old hefty Schaefer pen. It says Minnesota on it. Um, A-F-L-C-I-O. I'm not sure what that is. But that's a mammoth, and I really like that color. If it didn't have this, I would probably keep that pen, honestly. Let me know if, what you think of that bad boy. It's a hefty pen for sure.
Let's see, well, that's, well, is it going to stand up or is it going to fall over on me? Put your comments in fast. Put them in. Bam. We got her. We got her to stand. Empty case. Just set that out of the way. I don't even need to be in the picture. Oh, and I think we may have... Maybe I'll ID that one hefty ballpoint with this. If I could find some markings maybe on some paperwork. But this is a beautiful ballpoint pen. In the box. Pretty much crisp. Got the clip tag. And I found the name. It is a Targa. So that other big old one that I liked was probably also a Targa. Oh, this ain't a button one. It's a twist though. So I don't know. Either way, that's a beautiful pen in this lot. And final. And finally, for the box set, we have this lovely blue ballpoint pen and mechanical pencil set. Now, let's go on to the fountain pens. And here's what we have for fountain pens. A whole sack. But I'm going to tell you one thing. In this sack, it's all one model of Schaefer fountain pen. So, we'll have a nice range of colors. And here they are. And let's unroll them. We're ready to rock. And as you already seen, we have red and three blacks. I'm going to line them up, and then we're going to uncap them. In the next bundle, we have two more black. And we have this nice-looking translucent blue and I just love that one and then shabam green and I would say price but like a forest green but either way it's hot I like that one then we have your traditional classic blue put that right next to the translucent blue another green Another red. And I'm going to be selling many of these. I already have some no-nonsense fountain pens. So we'll have a nice variety of nib styles and colors available in our store. And I'll make sure to leave a link to our store in the description. Orange. Orange, you glad you watched this Schaefer video? <laughs> Bad dad joke. Sorry about that. Another Schaefer. This one already says fine on top. And these ones with the cutaway and the angled tops are a little bit more modern than these ones. Now, for dates, I can't tell you that. But I do know that. Here we have red. Orange. I'm going to move some of these blacks over here to even this up. And then we have another blue. And a white. Alright, let's uncap these bad boys, shall we? And there we have all the Schaefer no-nonsense fountain pens. One fine... Six italic bold, five italic fine, and six italic medium. So if you like to do calligraphy and you like a Schaefer no nonsense pen, we're going to have lots in the store. So there we have it, boys and girls. All 81 pens from the massive eBay pen haul. So many great colors, so many great designs, and I am pleased. Looking forward to listing lots of these, and let me know which pens were your favorite. 
I definitely like these bad boys right over here a lot. And that is the Schaefer Right Fine Mechanical Pencils. I like these two, which we, we discovered it was the Schaefer 101, if I'm correct. And I liked uh, quite a bit of them, actually, and I really like some of the colors. I'm looking forward to hearing what were your favorites. Till next time, this is Big Bad Brad. Make sure to hit subscribe because we're going to be doing some more giant pen hauls that we picked up from that big old box of pens on eBay. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more detailed pictures of these pens, make sure to stick around to the end. Well, I'll put together a little slideshow music video. Hope you enjoy it. Till next time. Chow mein.